Welcome to the jungle here in Cincinnati for this AFC West versus AFC North matchup between the Broncos and the Bengals. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. And you would think this is going to be about the defenses today, Phil. Well, when I hear the words rough and I hear tough, I think of Jim Nance. <laughs> That's and right. Man, he's tough. <laughs> and this is what this game is going to be today. It's going to be rough and it's going to be tough. And I'll tell you, even though I was a quarterback, I love these type of games. Shakes off the tackle. He had nowhere to go, and they deck him at the 16-yard line. Offense lines up here. Johnson's got it in the gun. Intercepted. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Jim, this defense is just attacking today. They got the offense backed up. They go after them. They're aggressive. And what does it do for them? It gets them an interception inside the opponent's 20-yard line. The jumbo set on the field. Pass is intercepted. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. They've got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebackers. The Bengals line up in the pistol offense. Of the shotgun formation running away from the pressure heaving it down the field has the catch but the feet are not down well you must on the offensive side throw the football deep three or four times a game that time they're just not able to connect on the deep throw The Bengals come out in the pistol. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. The throw to the left. Green is going to pull in the bullet pass. Wow, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. Johnson's back in shotgun formation. Under pressure and incomplete. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Clay Fox running down, looking to the right side and throwing. Complete. He's tackled at the 28. Well, it's man-to-man -man coverage. Bad job by the defense. The defensive back so slow, no chance of keeping up with the wide receiver. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Johnson's dropping back to throw once again. Knocked away incomplete. Anytime you get a chance as a defender in your own end zone to knock it down, that's what you do. Nice play by the defensive guy. Leads us to second down. 
Jones got it and on a pass, had some heat on it. Well, this is good confidence for the offense, isn't it? To move down the field early in the game and get inside the 20. Let's see if they have a play up the sleeve that can get them in the end zone. First and 10. And Vaughn Miller has them behind the line of scrimmage. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see when they don't have to blitz and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Throws a strike. This has been a nice little drive by the offense. They started out in bad field position. Look at them now inside the red zone. Let's see if they can pay it off. This has been a long drive so far. He'll fire it out to the touchdown. Cincinnati Bengals. Tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line. They're able to maneuver inside. Easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score. No, it's not. It's a fake. And so they convert it here on the two-point drive. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. And he begins his return. And the tackle is made right around the 32-yard line. Moreno's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Play action. Scans the field. The defense gets the sack. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. Second down here. Halfway through this first quarter now. He'll fire it out to the left. And a gain of 14. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. The offense needs two yards here on third down after the completion. Throwing now to his left. The Broncos now move the chains. Receivers get scared sometimes running that slant route. They know their linebackers inside running towards them because they're watching the quarterback's eyes. That reception gave them the first down as they go ground here. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Toss to the outside there's the tackle but still it's enough for the first down excellent job of just picking up the first down this offense is hot another first down and they are moving down the field first down here after the run back to the ground now slashing to the right side looking for room is in the slot second and seven that catch good for a first down he'll be brought down but not before picking up the first down well it doesn't look like much but it really serves the purpose picks up the first down and now they have a chance to open things up Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. The Broncos' offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. Oh, 
offense lines up here. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Gains five. Closer defense gets to the end zone. Their backs are against it. The tougher they get. But that time, the offense still able to pick up a few yards on an inside run. That second down coming up. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. That was a sweet touchdown right there. Just a nice throw by the quarterback. He put it right on the money. The receiver makes the catch. Beautiful touchdown. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. tackling first down on the way they go counter now, cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. The Bengals get a first down. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten. He'll go to the left. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Offense lines up here. Down and seven. Loads it up. It's going deep. Incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Flex round! Flex round! On the way, third down. There's a flag out. Catch is made. Gains 19. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. That time it was an easy completion for the quarterback on the play action pass, and it fools the defense because look how aggressive the offensive line is. They sold the play to the defense, and the quarterback took advantage. This is a screen play all the way. He's got a, a foot race to the end zone. The 20, the 10. No stopping him, taking it all the way home for the touchdown. The Bengals for the point after. An extra point is good. They're lining up here for the onside kick. turned away and the receiving team has it it. 
Peyton Manning under center. First down and 10. Stands in the pocket, and he's forced to the ground. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback, and the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? Good job by the running back that time, finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Looks to his left. That catch gives them a first down. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Two-minute warning. They've got a first down now after that catch. Moreno's got it on the handoff. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down following the run. Got a little screen set up here. And complete. They tackle him for a loss. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with a run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up the first down. So they get the reception, but it's not enough to move the chains. Third down coming up. Touchdown and drawing close. Yeah, that was a terrific job getting that touchdown there. And what you have done, you have closed the gap. Keep chipping away at that lead. Make the opponent keep playing. See if he gets tight. If he gets tight, you got a better chance. Makes the PAT. Matt Prater is ready to run up and kick this football. out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Flex round! Flex round! Ohio! Ohio! The Bengals come to the line with an empty backfield. First and 10. Middle. And he's going to pitch it here. Got a big lane. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. Let's round, let's round, let's round, let's round, let's round. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. Makes the catch in the open field. Six in the books. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field. And, hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. The point after try is in the books. Big goals ready for action. He'll start his return. <laughs> Mo
Moreno lined up in the backfield. Quarterback drops back, play action. Peyton over to Thomas. When you talk about the play action pass game, it's really when you call it. You got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Brings it into his body. Moreno's in the backfield, single back set. They feed the running back. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. Nothing fancy about that, but it's a good run. Gets a first down. Now the offense has three more chances. Moreno lined up in the backfield. Trying to find an open man. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. These NFL receivers are so fast that you just got to get rid of that football and let it go. That time the quarterback waits a little too long and he underthrows the receiver down the field. Second down now. Eyeing that left side. Hauls it in for the first down. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. First down here after the completion. First down, throwing again. Eric Decker. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering their teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Flip to the outside. And he's in for the touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense about 90% of the time is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power of football at its best. It's good. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. set up his team in excellent field position. That does it for the first half. Broncos trailing this one. We're back here now in this one where the Bengals lead by one. The Broncos back deep ready to receive. Time to check in quickly with Danielle Bellini from the sidelines. Danny? I got a chance to quickly speak with Ray Maualuga during halftime. His team has got the lead right now, and he told me it's up to the defense to make it stand up. He said, as a defense, you don't want to give up a lead, so we're going to come out and make plays to keep this lead. Seems simple enough, guys. I'll send it back up to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. First down here. They give it to the running back. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down. 
trying to work that left side. Newman with the interception. To a halt. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback size. They got in position, and they made the interception. It's first down as they head to the line. The wide receiver in motion. Out of the gun. Down the field. What a catch. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. This play set up by the long gainer. To the ground here. He's headed right. How about that run? Touchdown. The Bengals lined up now for the point after. Oh, it's a fake. In trouble now. Looking for an open. Got a touchdown. Got a two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. He will run this one back. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Peyton Manning, under center, first and ten. Manning's play action. He caught it. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. Matt Prater is ready to run up and kick this football. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. tight ends they motioned the receiver around to the other side interception nice job of the defense that time in position they read the quarterback's eyes and it led to an interception Offense lines up here. First and ten, quarterback. Quick toss to the outside. Gains 20. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. Peyton Manning, under center. Second down, 10. Out of the eye. The give to the tailback. Tackled at the 13th. Well, when you get a couple first downs, it just gives you such great confidence. It makes everybody relax. And I always say this. When you're a relaxed athlete, that's when you play your best. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Searching for space to the right. 
Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. This will be second down. The kid ball comes out. The tackle is made. Nice job that time by the offense. Even though they fumble it, at least they were quick enough and smart enough to get it on it right away. Play number six coming up on this drive. Balls taking the handoff. He's in for the touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts him ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. And the point after is good. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. Wiggles past the defender. Wide receivers are bunched up. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. In on the stop. Great job by the receiver that time. Holding on to the football after the catch. What a hit by the defense. In this league, you better be able to catch it and take the big hit. First and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Handoff. He's going to be tackled right around the 46-yard line. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. From the shotgun. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. Good job that time by the quarterback. Man-to-man -man coverage down the field. When you see it, you got to be accurate with the football. He was that time, and that's why we got the completion. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Running a little college-like option. Runs out of bounds. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. And here we have second down. Johnson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. That ball was in his hands. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Ohio! Ohio! Play number six coming up on this drive. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Pitches it back. Coughed up the football. The defense has the football, bringing the play to an end. The defense comes up with the big play, the hit, and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. Broncos will come out in the dime. He'll throw it over the middle. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. Tight ends are more valuable when you get close to the goal line because they can use their body and push off and get open that way to score touchdowns. Nice job that time for the tight end. So they get the touchdown, but they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. The receiving team has the recovery. 
the Broncos will use a timeout here early in the second half. a tight end but lined up in the backfield for this play they deck him in the backfield good job by the defense they stopped the first down play that time by the offense and now they have a good situation the Broncos will come to the line trying to put together a scoring drive here in the fourth Peyton Manning under center. Launches it down the field. And it falls incomplete. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Welkers lined up now as a slot receiver. Third and a long way to go. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The kick is through for three. When you get great field position, Jim, you got to take advantage of it. The offense didn't do it. I blame the coach. Those were terrible play calls, but a good kick by the kicker. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. On first down. Throws to the right, and he hauls it in. Five, maybe six out of that. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Out of the shotgun. Reaches in, knocks it away. Well, it's a good thing that linebacker knocked that pass down because I don't think he could have caught it, so if he can't catch it, Knock it down so nobody else can catch it. Ohio! Ohio! They come out in the dime package. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Caught it, but he's out of bounds. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver. running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses it. Two tight ends on the field here. Looking to the right side and throwing. Tackled down at the 47. Oh, I thought that was a pretty risky play that time by the offense. Even though it's the second half and you're down, you don't always have to go for it on fourth down. Fortunately for them, they got it that time. Ohio! Ohio! First and ten. Hand off to the pack. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. It's now second down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. In these type of situations, when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero, because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. Two tight ends, third and 12. The Bengals now move the chains. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. 
challenging the defenders to the right side. That brings the play to an end. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game, uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes, they go up, they make the catch. Oh, Cincinnati is in for the score. Now we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. The Bengals for the point after. Extra point is good. Bengals ready for action. They're setting up the return. off the hit this is a big time return well a lot of good things happen on both sides of the football this time how about that return by the return team good job good blocking look at the speed of that guy running they get the tackle from behind they stop the touchdown Dreesen's playing out of position in the backfield here first and ten Tosses it to the running back. That picks up seven. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Thomas lined up in the slot. Screen play is on. Makes the grab. Breaks out of that one. They break through. Tackle up behind the line. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. These guys need to make something happen on offense. The time beginning to run out. That's what happens when you try to guess the snap count. This one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. Third and five. Throws to the right. Has the reception all alone. What a good job by the quarterback that time. He saw the defensive back inside the wide receiver, and he leads that wide receiver to the sideline on that corner route. usually a tight end but he's in the backfield this time they pounce on him there well I know it's not going to make a highlight film but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards two minutes to go before this one's in the books game is closing in on a finish and the defense can make one play and basically in the game good anticipation that time by the defender he gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose Third and seven following the incompletion. Under fire on that throw. Ball's picked off. 
Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Working that left side. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Well, the protection was bad. Quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. Ohio! 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 Second down after the incompletion. They'll go ground. That'll stop the play right there. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. run it here's the handoff it's about managing the football game that's why they ran the football right there not a big game but sometimes you have to be predictable you have the lead you're trying to get rid of the clock you got to run it and now they'll try over again on second down the throw to the left they pick up the first down with that reception well if you want to be a good play action pass team it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it, you throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. This game is about to finish. And the quarterback doesn't get the snap in time. That's going to be a delay of game right here. Still first down. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. After that penalty, it'll be first and 15. Going to lose yards here. There it is. The game has come to an end. It was a good one throughout. Hotly contested right down to the wire. Uh, this is one here where you had to just hold your breath because just after one touchdown was scored, there would be another one shortly right behind it. A high-scoring affair and a memorable.